This is an introduction to a series of seven videos about zero gauge line and freight cars built between 1915 and 1942. Each of the videos presents a series of cars built during a defined period, like the scale freight cars, at the end of that time. The classification of that video is based on the classification by the Lionel Book Committee of the Train Collector Association. The first video shows the early period with simple four wheel cars with hook couplers, sold between 1915 and 1927. The video shows the second generation of Lionel freight cars, which still had only four wheels. In 1923, they introduced two novel freight cars, a hopper and a tank car. Also introduced in 1927, as part of that novel series, was the 805 box car shown here. All these four wheel cars were no longer listed in the catalogue after 1934, but still sold until the 1940s. These cars replaced the four wheel cars by those with eight wheels, but still used a similar body design. There were cattle cars, box cars, even a grain car and a tank car. From the tank car, many variants were produced, and you see here one of the many Sunoco and Shell variants. These cars remained in production until the end of the pre war period. In 1938, 
The cars of the 600 series were equipped with remote control couplers and designated as the 2600 series. The uncoupling mechanism was activated on a special section of track connected to a control unit. In addition, a number of operating cars were introduced as the 3600 series, like the operating dump car shown here. They also were activated on that special track and unloaded their cargo. In 1926, Lionel introduced a series of large freight cars, the 800 series, which was produced until 1942. The hopper was introduced in 1927, the refrigerator car in 1929, and the searchlight or flood die car in 1931. In 1930, Lionel introduced models of steam locos, like the 260E, which is shown here as part of the set. In the same year, they also introduced the derrick or crane car, which could rotate the cab, lift the beam and the hook. video shows the lithograph freight cars which were originally developed by the Lionel competitor Ives. Lionel had never produced lithograph cars in the early years. After they finally bought the entire Ives company in 1930, they marketed the cars first under the Ives name after 1933 as Lionel. The 1679 box car with its Baby Ruth candy advertisement was very popular and was produced in no less than 14 variants.
1940, Leiner introduced four highly detailed scale freight cars with scale couplers, which could only connect to the 700 scale Hudson. The scale freight cars were also sold with conventional couplers and could thus be pulled by all other Lionel locos.